Welcome back. Today we're in our little Minecrafty town and I'm going to build a Finisterre style farmhouse. I live in a little Finisterre style farmhouse so I'm going to base it on my home only this one's going to be a little bit posher. I'm going to use a controversial building material. I'm going to use concrete powder, white concrete powder. As long as you're careful about your windows and your door frames, you should be absolutely fine. I'm just going to make sure that I get the doors and the windows in the correct place. I like the sort of texture that this makes. There we go. I'll pop the door in now. Let me know exactly where it's going. I like the texture that you get off it. It's sort of a dappled white, which is nice. And with these Finisterre farmhouses, you have big oak beams over the doors and the windows. So that will hold the sand up for the second floor. It's very similar building construction actually because the Finisterre farmhouses you have the oak beams above the door and the windows and you have the big granite corbels on the side on the edges of the building but the actual building itself is made out of a just a, a cheap granite stone if you like, they're sort of pebbles, sort of little sheets of granite stone um, held together with a with a lime mortar plaster and then a lime mortar plaster on the front on the outside and on the inside so you have the exposed nice granite so that it looks as if it's built entirely out of nice granite but it's not actually And the walls are incredibly thick, over a metre thick. Now I'm going to put these copper rods in because they look almost like a drain pipe, like a, um, a rain pipe. And then when I do the, the upstand at the end, where the water goes down, I'll put a plant pot on the top so it looks like the catchment pot. in there and then the water will run into the pot and then down the downpipe. I'll use a half slab here just to finish off the front of the roof to bring it out a little bit because we put the drain pipe in there's not really enough room there for a full step and we want our shutters My shutters fell off. They were really old, over a hundred years. And we'll put the gables in. We'll, we'll build the gables now and then we can pop the roof on and then we can work from the inside then. I like trying different ways of building to see what works best. I'm going to put the little garage on the edge as well. 
They're used as garages now, but um, originally they were stables for the um, farm horses. So you could say they've always been garages, really, because they've always kept their their vehicles in there. <laughs> so here we go. We'll use a mixture of um, steps, stone steps, to create some texture on the roof. We'll use some um, moss covered, and we'll also use some ordinary ones um, here we go just to add a little bit of um, texture and we have a chimney either side of the the roof one of them is a false chimney just to balance the roof out And one of them's a working chimney. We'll do our upside down steps here. And I want to put some dormers in. I don't have dormers on my roof, but a lot of um, these farmhouses do. We have um, Veloxes, those uh, roof lights. Um, but a lot of these farmhouses have little dormers on them. It creates a little bit of extra space in the loft, in the grenier. And we'll put the dormers in front and back and blend their, them into the roof with a little hip as it joins in. one extra slab so we get our overhang on the gables there we are these houses were originally built um, at the turn of the century so 1900 just before, just after this style of house was originally built. And a lot of them were lost during the war. Um, ours um, is the only one in our village to have survived. All the other houses were built after the war. So there's the front end of the house done, and we'll start work on the back now. Now I'm going to put some um, openings in the back of this house. My house doesn't have any openings in the back. A lot of these houses only have windows and to the front and one door, and no openings whatsoever on the back of the house. Uh, but I'm going to pop, pop some in on this one because this is a posh house. And we put the beams in first, so then that's something to hold up the the um, the concrete powder when we put that in, because obviously it's it's powder. It's like sand; it will just fall down otherwise. So if we were to knock one of these blocks out, the whole thing would drop down one. We 
you look at the texture it's quite nice, it looks like lime plaster. With the lime plaster here, they do put dye in it sometimes just to um, to colour the houses. Rather than paint the houses, they'll dye the plaster. There we have it. Windows to the front and the back. Very posh. It looks like inside with no flaws in. Now we'll put a little conservatory on the back here, just to spice it up a little bit. But it's not a very exciting shape. It's just a an oblong, really. 5 by 10 metre oblong. There we go. Make that a little bit wider. And then we can put a dining area out here maybe. Spend so much time at the dining table, it would be nice to have a, a nice area to put it in. And we'll finish it off with glass blocks. And a wooden beam down the centre. There, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? And now for the garage. Or what would have been the old stable? And these have lovely cobbled floors. such a small extension they used to keep three horses in ours there we go and a flat roof mine's slightly um, more of a lean to but um, I need to put a proper flat roof on this one create a garage door. There we go. Pop the glass in. Forgetting the dormers. Put a little patio in out here in an enclosed garden area. Maybe do a checkered type pattern, might be quite nice. Do it maybe white and black to match the house. Change up the different types of 
walling brick that we use add some texture. We'll take the tarmac right up to the garage door. That was a rabbit that time. And I'll use this, this coloured uh, brick on the floor to make it look like tiles. I like the way that it's, because it's polished, it's got, you've got the edging around it. It almost looks like terracotta tiles. Again, using the half, half blocks for the, um, for the flooring to create a feeling of height. Not that there is a huge amount of height in these houses, but you, you, every little bit helps. So that gives us our steps up to the first floor and into the loft. We'll finish up the landscaping. Our around the house takes us to our back gate. We use some bone meal to create a more natural garden. I think we'll put a hedging in around the front. This tree in the back. We'll fill it out a little bit. Make it look a little bit more interesting. some vines sort of age the house a little bit. I'm using string to stop the vines from growing too too long and if you put string in it stops it in its tracks. It fills up the block space and you can barely see the string, especially on the white background. aged it nicely, I've put a bee's nest. Normally we have a hornet's nest every year. Um, this year, fingers crossed, we've been lucky and not had any. It's been a bit too cold. So I've popped a bee's nest in there to represent that. There's our conservatory and our garden. And let's go and visit. This is nothing like my house, by the way. This is much nicer. So we have a dining room and kitchen and a lovely big cake. So a little bit like my house. But there's vegetables too. Um, a lovely conservatory dining room with some pot plants. That granite flooring, polished granite flooring looks lovely. And upstairs to the bathroom. There we go. Uh, bedroom number one. Then there's another little bathroom, the toilet, and bedroom number two, and I've used stone walls here, you know, the um, to create the partitions between the bedrooms. Now this is in the loft, so we've got a little snug, a little cosy area. And 
and another bedroom. And this one's got an ensuite. This is why this is so posh. So there we have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my build of a Finisterre farmhouse. And if you did like it, please do like and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and it means the absolute world to me. If you want to leave a comment, please do. And I hope that I see you all back here again soon for another build. But take care everyone. Bye bye.